Are you ready for a small entrance makeover? I truly believe any small space can be decorative and functional. So let's see how we can transform this small space into something beautiful. So this is the before. And here is the after. Adding beautiful color blocks to the wall, rectangular shapes, square shapes, layering them. They really complement the frameless mirror and I modified this shelf. The space is now functional and decorative and it makes the space look bigger. So let's get started. For this project, I've collaborated with amazing brands once again. For the paint part, I've collaborated with Plascon Paint from my local paint expert store and all my paint accessories are from Hamilton's. The best place to start is making sure you measure the space. I'm measuring the wall to make sure I get the right size shelf, the right size mirror. I'm just lightly tracing where I want the shelf to sit, where I want the frameless mirror to sit and this will help me determine where I want to place my painted blocks. So I'm going to work on the shelf first. I'm just back at my workshop. I thought I'd get the hardest part of the project over and done with and get to my woodworking. Here I'm modifying this coal pine shelf. I'm just building a little drawer so you can keep keys in there and I'm making a hanging rack as well and just modifying and DIYing that to the shelf and finishing off with a seal. Now I'm back at the entrance wall and I'm laying down my super soaker from Hamilton's. I love how absorbent this is and it's reusable. Here I'm using the Hamilton's yellow masking tape just to adhere the super soaker to the skirting board so that no paint gets missed. And I decided to use the rest of the yellow masking tape to mask out where my mirror and shelf's going to be, just so I can always visually see it. Now I'm using a level and a pencil to mark out the five squares that I want on this wall that are going to look like they layered behind the first square, which is behind the mirror. Once I'm happy with the shapes and placements, I'm going to use the Hamilton's blue tape. It's a great quality tape. It's going to stick well on this very smooth wall. And I'm just going to press it down firmly with my hand to make sure that I get crisp lines. And I'm happy with that for my placement of the painted layered squares. Now we can get to opening the paint. This is a smaller paint job, so I'm only going to make use of one roller and one paintbrush and clean them in between the different colors and coats. I am using Plascon's Easy Living Range multi-surface paint for walls and ceilings in a sheen finish. I'm also going to make use of the Hamilton's Polypile Roller. That's 100 millimeters. The small little roller is perfect for smooth surfaces. Let's talk about the paint colors that I chose. I chose two dark muted colors that I'm going to mix with the off-white to make two lighter colors to fill in all the blocks. I'm using the colors Dried Leaf, London Haze and Foxborough. A good tip when working with a roller, wipe it down to remove any lint or fluff before use. Here is another great tip if you don't want messy paint on the cans when decanting. I wanted to try this and it works. I'm using the blue tape and I'm taping it into a V-shape on the edges of the can. So it, it kind of makes like a funnel when pouring it into your tray set. Look how neat that decant is and there's no paint on the paint can. Now I'm just saturating my roller in the paint tray, ready to paint my first dark colour in Foxborough. Now I'm just applying that paint to the square that I chose and it's going on lovely and smoothly and as I said I'm just making use of these rollers mixed with a paintbrush and I'm applying two coats allowing for drying time between coats. It's looking good so far and now it's time to mix the colors for the lighter shades of the two dark colors already applied to the wall. So what I've done is I've just used a plastic cup. I've mixed in two to one ratio. That's two parts for the dried leaf color mixed in with one part Foxborough and the same for the dried leaf and the London haze color. And now I have two colors that are lighter shades than the other two applied to the wall. All my paint colors and shades are now on the wall and I'm going to allow that to dry and as that's drying I'm just using a box cutter or a utility knife to tidy up some of the tape on the wall. The paint is almost 90% dry so it's time to remove that blue tape 
and I'm left with awesome blocks but I want to just join them up with the main white one because I want to make it look like they are all coming from underneath the white main block. So I'm just using masking tape and filled in the rest with paint. Without revealing too much, I'm adhering the shelf using brackets and wall plugs and my trusty drill. And now we can just add the finishing touches. I've now adhered the mirror to the wall using double-sided mounting tape. Just gonna give that a clean. And we can add all the other decorative elements that will go with the space. Here is a reminder of the before for this small entranceway. And here, is the after. It's incredible how some paint color and paint tricks can really transform this little wall into looking a lot bigger than what it is. And adding the shelf just adds functionality along with the mirror reflecting light. It looks like a proper entranceway, even if it's a mini one. So follow me for more DIY and decor ideas. Until next time, keep smiling and DIYing.